Hello, Tracy from Salem. I've just started to work on my May page for Roxy's Journal of Stitchery. <clears throat> so I was gathering together my supplies. The background prompt is favorite colors, um, and the foreground prompt is bird. So I finally, after going through like every piece of material in my stash, I've narrowed it down. My favorite color really is like, well, both blues and purples, I guess. Um, and recently I've been quite addicted to plum and I have this really beautiful piece of linen um, hand dyed. You can see like the variegation in it. Um, as I'm opening it, I'm like, oh my God, it's so beautiful. I don't want to actually cut <laughs> any of it um, for the background. Uh, and then um, like sea blue, or that kind of, you know, what they frequently label as sea blue. It's This is nothing like the sea, except if you live in the Caribbean, I guess. It's certainly not like the sea where I live. Um, but, you know, this is what they often call sea blue. I just love this. Like sea foam is what they often call this color, and I love this so much. And I've got this um, beautiful velvet um, piece. Um, and then I've got this gorgeous, like, blues and greens um, so like this is my general happy place um, with colors um, so something will emerge from so somehow out of these I'm thinking about doing um, uh, weaving strips again which I did for my March block I think it was was March the background was neutral and the foreground was flower Whatever that one was, I did I, I did like a woven background um, and kind of made up a sort of a stitch that I ran along each of the um, crosses. And I, I really enjoyed that stitch and kind of want to do it again. Um, so maybe that's what'll happen. That's, that's what I'm thinking, uh, basically. Some kind of woven background. Um, and it'll either be these two or it'll be, uh, I, I don't know yet, whatever. Um, something will happen and we will see what that is. And then, so my for my f uh, bird, um, I mean, there's so many gorgeously embroidered birds on the Facebook site right now. I can't even believe just the fantasticness that is coming out of people. It, it I, don't, I don't know if it's this particular prompt, if people really love birds, or it's just like we've been doing this now for, this is month five, and so people's skills are just out of the park. I don't know. But I'm not gonna be able to do something like that. <clears throat> I just haven't done enough. I mean, a lot of people are using kind of the, the paint thread, thread painting, thread painting method. And it's just stunning. And that's, I just haven't practiced that enough to be able to keep up with this crew. You know, so I just gotta do something different. Um, and so what I decided to do was a kind of a more, instead of such a uh, natural looking bird, to do something more stylized. Um, I knew my bird would be crane. And I found this pattern. I don't even know what it's a pattern for. Maybe it's a pattern for some material or wallflower, what wall, wall, wall Paper, I mean, um, <laughs> wallflower. <laughs> um, but anyway, I was just very, very struck by struck by this stylized um, crane, and I really loved it. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do. And um, I, so what I did was I took a piece of uh, this is basically the canvas that I've been using for the signatures. Um, and I put this um, piece of curtain over it, this curtain which I use all the time for my moons. Um, it's just gorgeous. I'm, I will be so sad the day I run out of this curtain. I will be, yeah, bereft. <laughs> uh, so then what I did was I took one of the um, uh, Frixion pens or Frisian pens or however you say that um, that comes off with heat 
and I drew it onto I drew it onto the um, canvas, and then put the uh, sheer curtain over it. And so now I am um, stitching. Um, and so right now I'm just using a, um, uh, what do you call it? A, is it a stem stitch? I think it's a stem stitch. Um, let me zoom in. All right, hopefully you can see that. So you, you go forward and then back just a little bit. Ow, do it without stabbing yourself like that. <laughs> Woohoo! I feel like taking a bow. That was just so classy and coordinated. Am I gonna start bleeding on my white fabric? I am not. Um, and then you go like, and then again, you go a little bit ahead of where you went in and then come back a little bit, um, maybe about halfway down that stitch. So then again, you go ahead a little bit and then about halfway back. And you try to come up I try to come up very close to the stitch. Um, so then it's creating this very fine line. Um, yeah. So what I, ha what I haven't decided yet, what I'm thinking about, so I think you can see through the fabric, you can see the feathers as I've, um, and then when I put heat, hopefully, I'm hoping, <laughs> when I put, when I iron this after I've done it, the heat will pull up the, um, the pink line. So that's the plan. Now I've, I've kind of hesitated here for a moment because I was thinking about um, these lines and these lines um, I was thinking, do I need to use something that's just a slightly darker than white? Oh, and so the point will be obviously that I will then cut this out um, around the outside um, and then uh, applique it on to the background. So what I was thinking was like, are you gonna be able to see these lines if I just use white? So I had pulled out a couple of grays as well um, and I'm thinking, like, as I'm looking at this, this is the right one. I want something a little bit shiny, right, to, to play with this lovely curtain. Um, and also, this is just a little bit, it's a little bit silvery, this gray. Um, so I think it'll probably, I do have a s silver here, although I'm not sure if I have enough. Um, so at some point, I will decide, I will try out this thing on um, these interior lines and I'll see how it looks. It may or may not work. Um, but I think that that is just, might, might be just a little bit letter, better for um, at least some of these details. Or, you know, maybe I'll work the two together, just so it's a little bit darker line. And we'll see, I mean, maybe it won't actually look good and I'll just do the whole thing in white and it'll be fine. Um, but I think for now, I'll just stick to the outline um, of the feathers. Uh, the outer, outer line is what I mean. <clears throat> So again, you go forward and then back just a little bit. And then ahead of the stitch and back a little bit into the stitch before. Ahead a little and then back 
coming up very close to the thread that's already there. And that creates this really lovely thin line. Um, so that will be my evening. Um, thanks for stopping by and hope you're having fun with the challenge.